Well, hey there, hi there, ho there, neighbor. Y'all ready to get the heck out of this plants versus zombies nightmare? Because <laughs> I sure am. But before that, we gained ourselves a little, little odd level. You know what that means. It's time to spin. Oh, 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 blue balled, just, <laughs> it just absolutely cucked me. <laughs> what, you know what, skill magazine is fine, I get to pick one. <laughs> Brutal, <laughs> I'll see you in the game. All right, well, last time, we ventured into this vegetated, overtaken, just mess of a vault. Some sort of, some sort of zombie moss creature. Strewn about. Just a mass of them. Moss zombies. Just disgusting. We took them out, along with a, <laughs> along with a horde of mantises. Saved a, saved a ghoul woman. Now it's time we make our way back. Yeah. This harsh weather is not going to be nice to travel. We may run into some trouble on the way. Fortunately for us, we did not. We must have cleared the path beforehand. Angela, I'm back with good news. Keeley just called in. You oh. should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Oh, well, that means a lot, Angela. I'll be heading on my way. You tell me if you need anything else. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Dr. Hildern. Boy, do I have a tale to tell you. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems Did we you? have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very mm -hmm. charitable of you. Yep, yep, uh, I do have some not so good news. Uh, the Vault 22 data has been destroyed. Destroyed? Really? I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. Oh no, I found the server. But, uh, Healy and I decided to wipe the data. It's far too dangerous to let spread. Keely, again. Do you do you understand what that rotting old bitch has done? Thousands of people, mass starvation. We had a chance to avoid that. And I had a chance to prove that scientists could be more than a bunch of useless idealists. But Keely doesn't give a goddamn about that, does she? You're an accomplice in this. Keely is one old woman. You could have easily stopped her. You're either incompetent or you're on her side. Now get out of this office. 
Get out. <laughs> Seethe. Anyway, not that you care. Were that technology to spread, I don't think there'd be an NCR for very long. But now you'll never know. Hey. Hey. You know what? While I'm here, that colonel over there, he did tell me something about investigating something's going on in here. Some sort of radio interference or some such. Suppose I might as well. Ever laugh so hard you shit yourself? Not saying I have. Just saying some chem should come with a warning label. Now, you couldn't have tortured that info out of me. Vincent, you're, you're a bit of an oversharer. Know that? What is it? Captain Curtis, I presume. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Yep. Colonel Shu wanted me to help you look into the recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leave went cold weeks ago. Where do you think I should start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. But what are you what are you responsible for? What do you do here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Remind me again who I should be talking to about intelligence leaks. Well, I'll leave that to you. But I would recommend Lieutenant Boyd and Sergeant Contreras as two people who usually know what's going on around here. Lieutenant Boyd and Contreras. All right, then. I'll accept that lead. I'll be back soon. Later. Down here. For a location map. Ah, uh, that you would write it down. Huh. Is it odd? I, I guess it ain't. I guess it ain't odd. Shouldn't be throwing suspicion around like that. Yo! Boyd's in there with the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Boyd. Okay. Okay. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Oh, oh, you're a bit of a firecracker, huh? Yeah, Will. You're stinky. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Uh... I've been sent to you to ask you some questions. You noticed anything suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Somebody's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Anyone else missing? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. I could see what I could find out about Corporal White. 
Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. So I heard there had been some break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. But would you be willing to give me the control tower access key so I can check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. And you also said there'd been some thefts. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out for these missing supplies. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. So did you need any help personally? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Is that some sort of big deal? Imagine y'all do that all the time, being at war with them and all. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're I so see. twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think that means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. You don't got some sort of troop drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. Have you tried just beating them up? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. Ah, so you want me to do what y'all can't. I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. 
I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Hey there, Legion fella. You mind covering up your naughty bits? I don't need to see that. Anyway, here your name is Silas C. Luce. Lucy. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Well, you smell like excrement. Uh, in indiscriminate, so there. I must admit that a conversation with an imbecile may be far worse than the kind of torture I was anticipating. But somehow I think I'll manage. Listen, you're about to tell me everything you know, Lucy. Of course, of course. All you had to do was ask. I'll tell you everything I know. Let's see. I know that you're a brainless cretin. I know that you're wasting your time. I know the lieutenant is going to be disappointed in you. And I know that by this time next month, the streets of New Vegas will be decorated with the decaying heads of NCR soldiers. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I'll be right back. Take your time. Science book will help me. Um... I'm gonna swing on them. I'm gonna need to know a few tactics. This book here. Maybe if I uh, myself a mintats. You know what, Lucy? What? I'm actually here with the Legion. And I'm here to kill you or you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. You notice how the lady soldier there has left the area? That's for good reason. See, she don't know how I operate. And she ain't gonna see a damn thing. Timeo Deneos at Dona Ferentis. I posed as a mercenary to get inside the walls. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. You're a danger to him alive. Your willingness to spread knowledge threatens him. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. 
I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Kaisar's laws are absolute. You know that. He does not grant exceptions, especially for those that have betrayed the rule of law. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. So in addition to being a treasonous worm, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. All that shouting. Honestly, Seelus, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. He My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? He does, doesn't he? It. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except I don't care, because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Lieutenant. We'll do. So, Lucy. You don't have to do this. Actually, I do. Because unlike you, I follow Kaisar's orders. If I'd killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. If his empire does fall, it'll probably be because his 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 Kenturians are so gullible. What? What do you mean? I tricked you, Lucy. I'm working with the NCR. I just got you to talk. And you popped up like a canary. No, you slimy bastard. That's Nothing right. Will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep up with that impotent rage, Lucy. There's an old Chinese proverb. When one door closes, another one opens. That's it, open the door. East or west, north or south. It's all one big merry-go-round. Lieutenant Boyd. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Thank you very much. Yep, see you around. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. What are you pointing at? Okay, yeah. But am I telling me to go over here? I'm waiting for something. Nope, she's just pointing. Like a weirdo, you 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 we point her quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay, Miss Pointy, what a crazy lady. Now, oh Lucy said something about somebody using the radio. 
at night. I imagine they have logs on this terminal to tell me precisely when people are breaking in or not breaking in as it were. Well, I thought I had the damn passcode, but I suppose I could hack in. Geeks must have made this now. Okay. Okay, so it can't be anything with S at the end. So we know that. Simple's that, baby. Ah, an access log, exactly what I was looking for. Barker. Is that noon? Enter exit about three minutes each time. Huh. Wait a minute. Exit, exit, exit. Huh. Now this is just strange. Three minutes. Two minutes. Oh, it must be the watch for six hours. Go back and take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, wait a minute. All the shifts. Hold on, let me take one more look. Yeah, it's looking like someone enters the 1 a.m. When there should be someone on shift. Yeah. For about 20 minutes. Enter and exit. And then the shift changes. Yeah. Hmm. Boys, gonna be doing an old fashioned stick out. Damn, I'm getting thirsty. My last water roll. find ourselves a place to sit. We're gonna watch this place around 1, 1 a.m.
Bam. That mintats wears off and really puts a hankering on your thinking thoughts. Got all confused. Pop on in here. Chair, are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before, but I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. I need to find somewhere to sit. Dang it! Goodness, no. Nope. Oh, you're getting up. What Good. is it? I'm gonna take me a seat here if you don't mind. That's just a receipt. He's like walking around. I was like, what the fuck? You know, guess. Okay. Wait till around 12 o'clock. Oh, where's he going to? I wonder. You know, I had my suspicions about that fella from the very beginning. Take a peek, real quick. See if someone's in there. Lupa, this is Grumman Terrius Pikes. Over. Go ahead. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Go. We gotta run, y'all. Some sort of detonation charge. Make way, make way. There's a damn explosives on, on the monorail. There ain't nobody guarding the door. All right, tell me there's under the seat, maybe. No, no, y'all, what gardening? Dining around, you gotta look for explosive oh I don't know shit about shit tell me I got a damn magazine of some kind got to improvise explosives I to make this readily available okay he says uh to the green wire or the red wire well Offer myself up a prayer. I'm gonna cut this green wire. I did it! 
<laughs> Andy, I did it. <laughs> yeah, the magazine. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Yeah, I just saved your motherfucking life. Or the monorail, at least. Y'all don't even know. They rarely do. The deeds I've done for the people of Vegas. Colonel Shu, I have good news. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Well, I thank you, sir, but I got some things to tell you about them intelligence leaks. You're going to need to have some troops head over to the radio, dang old radio tower. I forget what it's called. No. What happened? Curtis. He's still up in the tower, I reckon. He's in the Legion. I can prove he tried to blow up the monorail. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. Very good, very good. Make sure that he's brought to justice. Bye. Boys, I'm thinking it's time for a bit of rest and relaxation. I, uh, I might have... I'm, I might have, Eddie. Dang it. I'm gonna need to clean this suit. Is it supposed to squeak when you walk? Uh, don't answer that. I do have this here kinetic accelerator implant. You turn your back on a man, he might stab you in the gut, sure. Crater, who's my blood type? I'm thinking this time I treated myself. Hmm. I'm thinking this time I treated myself. To a new bionic. That's right. There's no reason to be worried, Eddie. I'm only 10% machine tops. Besides, you're you're a hundred percent machine. What do you got to talk about? Die, you ugly little cocksuckers! Dumb fuckers in it now. Yep, looks that way. Now, with the fiends pretty much dissolved, you might notice a few more smatterings. Some outliers, some outcasts. Er, where's that uh little lady doctor? Not a big talker, huh? 
in here. Nope. Ah, oh, she's asleep. Well, uh... <clears throat> oh, hey there! You're back. Do you need medical attention? Well, actually, I was hoping you'd be able to perform cybernetic surgery on me. Very well. Looks like there's a secondary effect for having two on e one on each leg. So let's see what it does. Feeling light as a spring. Hold on, I need to test something. Hey. Come on, boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh. Takes a lot of. Oh, jeez. Need to work on my cardio. She's Anyhow. got heartaches by the number and cold sores on her hip from sucking on the barrel of the big iron on his hip. All right, that's it. Race y'all to the truck. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's good. Now, uh, what's next on the agenda? We could return to Camp McCarran and do that some other time. I've been meaning to keep a promise. I almost drowned once in a tub of moonshine, but I drank my way out. I'll believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their raiding and pillaging. Hey there! You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Well, actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. You matched the description of one that... Well, I suppose I'll just ask you outright. You've been watching over them boomers? With binoculars, perhaps? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Well, I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man in there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's a special sort of guy. Perfect for a special sort of gal. Oh, I've just gotta meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I could ask their leader and make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. I'll be back soon. Oh, Blake. I've been meaning to talk to you. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Wouldn't happen to have gasoline, would you? Can do. Nope. I am. Seems my truck is stuck where it is for now. You always got plenty of duct tape, though. Yeah, we love that. Appreciate you, Blake. See ya.
Oh, right. Gotta tell Ellis. We can't sit idly while the Legion prepares their own elite forces. Hey, Ellis. Welcome back. I delivered that invoice just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? What other kind of jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Tell me about this negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Nope, that's all. See you later. It's been a pleasure. What's this note about Cassidy Caravans? This is an offer letter from Alex McLafferty with the Crimson Caravan Company to buy out Cassidy Caravans in its entirety, including equipment, ramen, and existing trade contracts from Cass. Huh. I'll have to meet with this Cass. First, I'm gonna give Mr. House the good news. Maybe do a little, I heard do a little some espionage for the some fancy pants rangers coming into the area soon. For the followers, look for some kind of medical tech. You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Appreciate it. Ain't as good as two stim packs, though. You We've got ran out of those, huh? Even allowed to sell people only at. Always nice coming back. Yep, same old free side. Man, why? Now y'all know the deal. Hang outside while I talk to the big man. Fine, but I am not waiting sober. Yeah, yeah. Roger.
No, no, Victor. Well, suppose I'll just use the elevator myself then. Mr. House. Any progress with the boomers? I have secured their loyalty. They will do as I say. Well done. The boomers' firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment won't take you far. It concerns the Omertas and their den of vice, Gamora. As the decisive encounter between the bull and the bear looms close, my concerns about the Omertas have grown. I've never expected loyalty, mind you. A reliably underhanded tribe is just as constant to deal with as one that always runs true. But that's just it. Lately, the Omerta's cooperative silence has been deafening. Not a single complaint. They're up to something. I'll check in on them, Omerta's. The Omerta's are fanatically loyal to each other, Still, among any group, one can find the occasional degenerate. Gomorrah's receptionist happens to be one. For years, she passed on whispers of what was taking place at the casino in exchange for payment. A few months ago, she clammed up. Odds are she's scared. But I've had no way of approaching her. Start with her. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And you as well, robot. I'm starting to get the feeling that I if I continue working for this Mr. House, I may make quite a few enemies. I may need to consider my allies before proceeding. That's a consideration I'll make next time. <laughs> this episode will end now. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had fun. I certainly did. Please uh, go on ahead and press that like and subscribe button if, if, if and you feel like it. <laughs> See you next time.